Hello guys, so welcome to Care Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we'll be finalizing this car model over here today. So let's get started. So now what I'll be doing over here, I have already merged this stuff. So let's go into this borders over here. Let's select the border. So I'll just go over here and let's select the car border over here. I'll just come out of this knob toggle and I'll just go into this and I'll just cap this. After that, once you have capped it, what I can do over here is like, let's go over here let's select cut and let's just keep on adding this cut over here so you have some polygons over here if you don't want this you can just uh, delete this polygons if needed right click let's again use a cut over here we can just add this cuts over here according to your needs so I can just select the vertices let's just click on the vertices and slightly just push this up so go into this side view and let's adjust this correctly in this way so let's again go over here again give a cut over here so we are just adding the cuts over here so we can do this stuff as needed or required and if you don't need this uh, some of the loops you can just double click on it and control and backspace to remove it so we can just remove the cuts so we can remove the extra edge loops if are not required so if you don't need any kind of edge loops we can just double click on it control and backspace to just delete that So there are many a times it happens that there are many extra loops which are assigned over here. So although this is also a loop over here, again select this border, let's just cap this, right click let's use again a cut keep on using a cut so select the polygons so if you have some extra loops that you can put it or we can just end it somewhere that would be much better so select this whole thing so this is going to be your back part so let's go into this go into the material editor 
I'll just assign a color to it. So let's just assign a color. So before you assign this, let's go to the top view. Okay, that's correct. Can assign it. And if you want, you can slightly just insert it. Push it down. So the same way, <coughs> this is going to happen over here too as well. So let's just select the front part. Again go over here. So before we add this, uh, you can add one loop over here. Okay, I cannot add a loop right now. I'll again go over here I'll just assign this and slightly I can give a bit of inset to it so once you are done with this I'll just save the file once again so wherever the loops are required I have assigned it and if you go into this let's go into the modifier list and let's add a turbo smooth so after you apply a turbo smooth you can see that there are some glitches over here because of this part so you can try to end something over here if needed or if I just go over here and if I just remove this and if I give a turbo smooth okay that's also good so it's better I can just remove that particular part if it is not required so I can just go over here again select this and let's just mirror it copy it in x-axis and I'll just drag it in this way So you have uh, duplicated that particular stuff when it is required. <coughs> so if you have some fine details that can be done, so you can, if you want to make this look as a kind of a glass or something, you can make it look as a glass over here so let's just select this go into the material <coughs> let's take a V-ray material so I'll just assign a V-ray material over here slightly give any color black color and slightly I'll assign a bit of refraction so if you want you can just go with any other color assign it alright so you can just give a color like this over here for the car so definitely you can close this area if needed so we are not animating this car we are just making a static model so whenever you are going to work with a static model you don't need to go with any kind of this stuff so if you are going to animate it then you need to create the separate doors and everything so for that part we need to take care okay we have some extra over here I can just select this 
control and backspace and you can just remove that so wherever you have some extra loops or something you can just go and take that out this is not welded so right click and just weld this <coughs> So you can just weld it over here Somewhere the other we have there is a problem over here all right so as you can see uh, we have done this stuff over here if you want to assign a color you can go with the material and you can definitely assign a particular texture or shader carpet material that can be assigned if needed so you can go with that so let's just save the file once again so we do have some carpet material if you want you can go with that carpet material also so we can just assign the carpet material any car if you want you want any color or something you want to go with that but for that you need to again uh, select deselect the windows and assign this so if you want you can just take a check over here i can just assign and i can show you how it's going to look over here First assign a shader if needed then you can go with this stuff takes time all right So we can just click outside and click on this turbo smooth go into the render setup go into this environment gi environment light cache you can just hide this and just put in color rendering 
environment and you can just add a V-Ray sky alright so let's render it and see how it's going to look like So after you have assigned this, you can see you are getting a very very high reflections just because of this. You have multiple factors over here, you can reduce the base reflection, base glossiness. So this everything can be changed over here. Coat color, make it a bit grayish or something. So although you have a sign, okay, can say this now. If you want, you can change the background color. That's totally okay. So I have just assigned. Uh, instead of this you can just go into this and you can assign some HDRI map also if required so you can just assign any kind of an HDRI map ok now looks better Alright, so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. So we have finalized this tutorial. If any more details is required you can go with that. So thanks for watching this tutorial.